<laughs> okay, let's continue where we left it. Why would I not do this? Can I not move? Hmm? This is Arrestus Dorsey calling the Rangers. You killed my brother Jared, remember? Well, now you're gonna come find me. Unless you want all of Colorado to hear me kill a bunch of innocent folk. Got a whole family trapped in their homestead. About three generations worth. And if you don't want them to be the next to die in the day you lose your blood, you better come up north and take their place. <laughs> Real funny, Rangers. Real fucking funny. I caught one before they all got in the door. Well, how do you like the rest of them go when I get bored, Rangers? So you better hurry, because... You're a so whatever your name is. Come in, November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed. 44. Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. <laughs> Lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A44 is hauling new power armor for the marshals. It is. The Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast, and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. Ashpen, Denver. Let's go to Homestead, I guess. Name's BB Gun. Glad to meet ya. Uh, listen. We've been doing a little civil forfeiture, and we need to turn some impound into cash. Interested? Aw, oh, thanks. I'll tell the others you said so. Anybody tell you they're innocent? Ain't nobody innocent in Colorado. They're all guilty as let me open the back.
wrap up our garage. <laughs> This is the question, how the fuck do I rest and heal up? I know I will be able to get the rest. Later on. Yeah, let's load back <clears throat> before I got hurt. So I have to choose? Well, we know what I'm going to choose. Cousins, before we get to the kill, go on, Rangers. Tell us how sorry you are. Cockroach, you call him. My <laughs> Listen up, you. My name is Arrest because I have Major Thumbcat. clan, and we were sent by God to find you. But now, you've gone and killed my brother. So I'm adding my own wrath to the wrath of God. I'm gonna peel off an inch of your skin for every tear I shed over the death you taunt me. Again with Jared's death, God says it's time for the skinning knife. You take his brace yourselves. <laughs> is using assault rifle 
Wait, so I have two of us. Oh, boy, what the fuck's with you? Why is he scratching me? Why are they shooting at my truck? Go, Major Tom, get! I think he's not gonna live long. Use six AP. How the fuck do you miss that? I could start using this. Why is she not crouched down? Expect her to have much of a range.
might have as well gone with that. <clears throat> oh. Pretty much the same, just no kidding. Oh, wait, modding weapons. shotgun here, yeah, no. just one. Oh no. So this is where uh -huh. Question Whisperer Four. Okay. God, God damn it.
We may as well load. There's nothing there. Yeah, I will need to redo the talents for everyone once I get it into base. Strangers, we ain't seen a scrap like that in what? Twelve, I reckon. But where's our manners? You strangers saved our whole family from those bushwhackers. Except for poor Dee Dee. Who are you folks, anyway? Desert Rangers? Well, that's a new one on me. But we're always the last to get news, living way up. Tell you what, we ain't got much money. But we got more bullets stashed than we'll ever need. Back when we were young, we were always saving for the next shootout. That ain't near enough for saving our lives, but maybe it'll help keep you safe. Questions? Okay, let's hear them. Sure is. That gun was handmade by our son, Alistair, back when he joined the Patriarch's Marshal. Didn't save him, though. Some Yahoo shot him down while he was trying to break up a fight. Guns all we have left of Alistair Hoon. I remember him. Nice fella. Helped train me to shoot. Been a few years now. Still proud of him, even though he's gone. Sad story behind that grave, Rangers. About 40 years ago, when my folks were still living, a beautiful lady. We warned her not to go by herself on account of all the nasty critters, but she wouldn't listen. My pappy and me were worried, so we followed her. Found she left a note tied to her body. He took everything, so I chose nothing. She never told us her name, so we carved that on her grave. Buried her up there with a few personal things. Not long after that, some official-looking folks from the city came around asking about the lady. We told them what happened and showed them her grave. Didn't look too pleased, but they thanked us and never came back. Never even heard of them. We get some strange folk up here and other things. It's an old name. One of the families that survived the deluge of fire. Mostly by hunting game and growing crops in the greenhouse. Before the deluge of fire, folks say there were all kinds. They had broccoli down in the city, and parsnips too. What we wouldn't give for a decent part. A good man. He's kept Colorado alive for 50 years. Some folks might have. We're old enough to remember the bad times before the Patriarch. Raiders, thieves, and wild men everywhere. That all stopped when the Patriarch took charge. Well. If you're ever up this way again, you're always welcome around here. I, I miss my brother Alistair. When's he come home? She let me have Dee Dee's corpse. She said no. People make funny noises when they die. Never notice. I notice. Oh, this one is <coughs> a little bit messed up in the hand, okay. You do have to wonder how inbred they are. Where are the bombs? Mines. Is that one? No. Yeah, that was one. I 
I miss my I brother Alistair. When's he coming home? Funny noises when they die. Ever notice? I notice. You guys whooped those Darcy's! Yeah! I was covering the back door the whole time. There's another toaster here. Oh. 